G'day guys, welcome to Spacey's Arcade and welcome to Man vs Mule attempt number three for the unofficial world record to start with and uh, what we're going to do in this session is I am going to play the video of the recording of the game that I did last night for this uh, third attempt and as part of the rules um, I only want to show you guys an attempt that beats my last attempt Will it beat the world record that I'm after? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this video. Um, I did the first two live while I was playing them because they were my first scores. and uh, But since then, my second score was pretty high. Um, and so to beat that, I have to play again and again and again. I didn't want to commentate over every single attempt that I did, guys. So I recorded this. And along with you, uh, we'll go back through it. It's the first time I've looked at it again since playing it last night. All I can say, of course, as part of my rules, is that this attempt has beaten my last attempt. So what I'll do is I'll just start the video. We'll just get that rolling. And it's good, actually, because I could talk to you without concentrating too much on the game. But we'll talk about the strategies and, and what happened in this game as we, as we go through. Um, but first of all, just as a reminder that the world high score, or at least unofficial world high score that I'm chasing on the Atari, is 52,803. And so far, with my attempts, well, my very first mule attempt, which I published for you guys, uh, and was my first game, uh, was 30,795. So we're a good 20 odd thousand off the pace, guys, on that first go. And then I had a failed attempt uh, straight after that on 22,045. But my my game straight after that one, uh, which you would have seen if you saw Mule attempt number two, that got me right up, had a really cracking game on that one, guys. Got up to 46,493. Still off the pace, still not over 50,000. So that was my last high score personal best 46,493 this game has beaten that score otherwise we wouldn't be watching it but has it beaten the world record and that's what we're going to find out now in between that 46,493 I had a number of failed attempts I had a 28,000 game uh, I had a 33,000 game, I had a 27,000 game, I had a 21,000 game, and then a 44,961 game, which was just a little bit under my previous personal best. So those were the games I had before. So five attempts in between, guys, between the last video that you saw and this one. Uh, but then good mate Cal, <laughs> if you're watching Cal, uh, thank you, because he was playing Mule and trying to... Uh, get a good score as well and he was talking to me in discord about it we've got the mule chat going there guys hop onto discord uh, post your own scores and he's been posting his and uh, yeah he got me got me excited about getting back into playing mule and so I hopped on last night and played mule so we're in the game guys and so let's talk about what's going on and what I did and you can see right from the outset I took a blue blue block right on the right hand side of the screen didn't go for the river this time right at the start changed my strategy and then this first land auction came up guys and i raced up to get it of course we are the beginner species we have some more money more cash than the computer again the beginner species is all good in terms of the world record you're allowed to choose that species get a little bit more time and a little bit more cash and um i snaffled that first block and then a second one came up and look at this guys i managed to pick this one up as well although at 624 not leaving me a lot of money left over um but picking up early blocks always good the more land that you have earlier on the better and uh, that's always a good strategy to follow so look at me i've got three blocks <laughs> i've got enough money only to put out one i think if i recall uh well i got 292 here yeah so a hundred dollars for the mule going straight into the energy guys and so yeah look my thoughts this time was why get a river plot I've, I've been thinking about this a lot i've always taken a river plot to be secured on food if you don't have food you can't make any you don't have any time to do anything on your next round so you need to have food it's a bit of an insurance but i thought well you know the store has some food unless you get a store fire of course other guys normally produce food 
can I rely on others producing it? Maybe I'll put some food plots out on my other blocks. I mean, wampus hunting at the moment. Um, you know, and, and I've got the wampus. Um, and so, yeah, it's a completely different strategy, but straight off the bat, development number one, three blocks, or plots, should I say, it's a good start. Got the wampus to get more money <laughs> to get out a second mule on the first development. Uh, so all of that is actually a pretty good start. Of course, if I did the three blocks out, guys, on the very first development, that would have been something special. Low Christite up there. The guys are checking out where they are. There's a low, there's a medium there. So we're just going to start see the computers do the assay checks of the land. So got to keep an eye on those as we go through. There's a low there, there's a medium there. So there's a high somewhere around there. No Christite over there next to my other block. Of course, my blocks are all scattered. That's not a good thing, guys. So I need to try and close up the blocks. But I need to sort of figure out where the Christite is first. Uh, to know where I should get my next block of land. There's a low there, there's none up there. So you want to be checking that with the computer as they check it for you. It saves time, then you don't have to do it. So look at that, guys. Uh, straight off the bat, we have an energy uplift, and I've got two energies out. <laughs> Woohoo! That's what you call a good start. Um, Crustite's a little bit, you know, iffy at the moment in terms of where those high blocks can could be based on that information. Uh, but anyway, we kick it off and Smith Ore is pretty low and the guys won't be selling, computers won't be selling at that. They're at the over their thousand dollar mark and they'll want to get over 50 or so before they start selling Smith Ore. Uh, food, of course, we had no food, so this is where, you know, this has got to get the strategy working for us. And luckily, the green guy got three extra. Store has eight. No fire on the store, which is a disaster if you have that on the, your first go. It can always cause havoc in the early rounds, so we don't have any problems there. As long as no one buys out the whole store. And generally, the computers don't do that with food. They do do that with energy quite a lot. Uh, so here I am picking up my food. Of course, I've got no money though, guys, and this is a big challenge. You buy too much land, you have no money, you can't put stuff out. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, luckily we got all this energy, because I've got the two energy blocks out. Look at that, guys, 16. They only need three between us, but they might grab a couple more, because they tend to want one additional extra. They think I'm going to come down because I've got oodles, but I'm just going to sit up there on the 45 and then that will give me a nice bit of cash bonus right here so that we can get some mules guys because if i didn't get that money i would have been wampus hunting scrambling around in the dirt trying to get money for a uh, for a mule so that puts us out in front um and of course you know we don't necessarily like being in front from the point of view of good and bad things happening um Anyways, get bad things if you're up the top. Uh, so I picked up that block next to my other energy block there. My reasoning around this was that I suspected that there was the high Christite uh, in that block. Can't buy this piece of land, don't have enough money, so I missed this auction, which is a shame. But at the same token, it was a little outside my other blocks. But still, you sort of want to pick up as many as you can. Oh, actually, was it the one down the bottom left? Oh, it would have been a great plot next to mine, actually. Take that back. <laughs> oh, well, didn't quite have enough there, guys, to pick that one up. Uh, so into food. So again, I'm just taking a bit of an insurance position because I don't have the river food plot, but I do have a lot of blocks. So I thought, look, let's get ourselves set up before we go crazy on Christite get ourselves enough food so we don't get shortage of time in future rounds and uh, and also you know keep the energy going putting the two foods together because that gives me a bonus a production bonus with the two plots together I don't have three of anything so I don't get an extra production um, bonus for having three of a particular resource I've only got two of each uh, so we'll have to sort that out in coming rounds 
And yeah, and then back into the, I did I did get the wampus, didn't I? <laughs> I'm talking to you, I'm like ablessly looking at the same time. I think I got the wampus and then into the pub. So so far a reasonable start, guys. Um, early days, of course, and as we know, anything and everything happens in Meteor Meteorite Strike. <laughs> guys, like all my games. Meteorite Strike not on my block. Damn it. And that would have been tidy. If that was the block just over to the right. Although, you know, the red guy would probably snap all that block next. Um, but got some good good food there. Pretty poor energy on the left hand side. Uh, but yeah guys, we're, we're, we're sort of rolling. Bit of food, bit of energy. I'm hoping that I can sell a bit of that back to them at the start. And then sort of slowly... Um, not too slowly, uh, get into Christite production and obviously try and pick up more blocks. But cash is a big problem at the moment, as you can see. And uh, I've got enough for a mule and so forth at the moment. I don't think I need to buy any food or energy, so I'll be, be selling a bit more, if anything. Let's see what the status is here. Green guy got a little bit of spoilage, had over three... Uh, over two, I think, on the food at this early stage. All right, store only has two units, and these guys, okay. And I, yeah, I decided not to sell on this round. I remember now because I, the green guy had too many, and it's just too much competition. I didn't want to sell for 18, 20, although arguably you could make a case and say, well, I sort of really need every dollar. Um, but I did know that I had some energy, and I'd be able to sell some here. So that was my strategy. So keep the food and uh, and sell here. And I think I'll let this guy sell out first. Pretty sure that's what I did. Or maybe I didn't. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, well, they didn't need that many. So, all right. Well, I've got a bunch of extra uh, energy there. It's sort of a bit of a shame there, guys. Like looking back at this now, I... I probably should have offloaded a food actually just got a little bit more cash all right well we're straight back in to the next land grab i've taken this one next to the uh the green guy there because i wanted to sort of try and close them out um from that high crystal plot which has got a food on it at the moment um that was my strategy there didn't again no money for this land auction guys so we've actually missed two land auctions um, again, these are all good things when you go back and, and re-look at it and go, if I played it slightly differently uh, and had the money and picked up these extra blocks, it makes a big difference on your production potential. So, yeah, so we, uh, yeah, I want to try and get that one in the middle now. Obviously, next time round, the green guy may try and snaffle it, or the red guy. Uh, I believe that is a medium crystallite plot, that empty one. But yeah, I'm trying to protect that top right-hand side and so that I can pick up all the plots there without the computer guys grabbing them because they'll always try and grab plots next to their own to try and get those production bonuses. So that's what I like to do is try and sort of close them out. And, um, you know, I want all those other crystallite ones around that high on that top right-hand side. So that was why I did it that way. Arguably, I could have just gone for that that uh, that middle block there. Retrospectively, probably would have been a better move, uh, and then got the to try to get the top one after that. The top one's actually only a low, and that empty one at the moment's a medium. I'm running around trying to get a mule, but uh, sorry, a wampus. And early days, only the 100, can get back to the pub as well. Every 100, every Wampus counts, guys. You know, when you try to chase the world record, um, it all adds up, right? It all adds up. And, you know, once we get down, down to the wire in terms of chasing that top score, I've got to make sure I get as much as I can. Low Christite, bottom left. Took me a little while actually trying to work out where the high is down that bottom left, but I, I was just focusing more um, up on the top right for the moment. 
no crystallite down the bottom the two river plots are free guys planet quake mining halved not great for my first crystallite luckily though no movement of mountains on that planet quake and so no one's plots got taken out so that happens sometimes on the atari version it doesn't move a mountain sometimes and so it's not so bad but yeah we only got uh, a little bit of production there on the crystite and smith ore is also would have been halved in terms of mining story has one unit left so these guys need the cash they're going to sell what they have and they get a reasonable price here guys for the smith ore at 58 um but everyone's a little short on cash which again is good especially if there's land auctions coming up look at that guys straight away 124 halved the mining production though so we missed out a little here we could have got a couple of extra um, but 124 by two units guys 248 that's a nice bonus cash bonus we need that money um and this is the you know the scramble at the start to get your cash back up ready for the next land auction that may come around and with the food situation the green guy's gone nuts because he's got two blocks two plots with uh, food <laughs> and so I, I remember sort of thinking at this stage okay well food is fairly assured the other two guys aren't getting food but there's just ridiculous amounts from the green guys only two in the store but this guy if he comes down and sells them all and he will because he's only got 186 bucks um so all of that means that there's going to be a lot of food so you know i'm sort of thinking oh, i probably shouldn't have so many food plots at, at at the moment but you've always got that risk guys of a fire in the store you're fire in the store and then no one can get any food if you can't get any food you can't change things and all that stuff um the risk is a little bit lower for me at the moment because i've already got food plots out so even if that happened then i could still generate food on the following turn the nightmare is just that you have no food and you can't put a food plot out <laughs> uh, it's a double whammy and you get into the cycle until you can actually buy food um, all right so here i'm letting these guys buy the store out and then i am trying to maximize the price for the few that i'm going to sell again i never sell right down to minimum and i didn't want the pink guy going off the screen because i just wanted to sell a little to the green guy and one to him just to bump my my money up a little and so that worked out quite well so again had to sort of watch that guys had to make sure i didn't lose the other guy off the bottom when the computers you know one goes higher than the other all right i'm going to try and get the one in the middle couldn't get it because the red guy did take it in the end so yeah that that i should have done that the other way around um but never mind this is a really nice block right underneath my other one guys and the price is low because the previous auctions didn't sell and look at this this guy has bailed out at 364 guys luckily he only had 842 didn't want to go any higher uh, so that's a great block can't get this one don't have enough money but it's not a good as good block over here and the, like the land auctions are eh, just hitting a mess right because if you get a, a number of them together um, you know and you've got the money you can really do well so you can see i've got a nice little upside down l shape going there sort of blocking out the computer all to take on blocks on the left hand side that's my strategy try and get those blocks around that high crystite up in the middle get all the production bonuses with the adjacent blocks of course my little one on the left is left out on its lonesome it's not great and we'll have to try and sort that out later these guys are all getting into smith ore like crazily look at that <laughs> look at that big guy's got nothing but smith ore oh and because we reversed the order guys you see i didn't start first because there was a shortage of mules luckily my turn being the last turn and there's only two mules left i've only got 36 dollars left after this mule um but i need another mule and i need more money and there's only one mule left in the store 
I need to get this wampus. Come on, man! <laughs> really much to, oh, I tell you what, it's just a challenge getting these wampuses with, with this flapper character. And there you go. So I got the extra money and had enough to outfit the Christite guy. So, you know, again, the turns were reversed from lowest to highest because of the mule shortage. Luckily, they had two. Luckily, I got the wampus. <laughs> And I was able to kit out my my plots and you know maximize production. So look at that. We have two medium crystites around the high. Of course we have three blocks as well, so we're gonna get double double the bonus production there, guys. Um, still only two food, still at two energy, so that doesn't give us any extras there, but, but we did alright though. Look at that, the energies were, were good. And straight into Smithor with a price that rivals Christite normally, 144. So you can see the computers got all into, into Smithor, and that's why they saw a shortage of the mules. They predicted that. And to be honest, that's actually that price going up that fast when mules getting down that low. That's 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 interesting because I never thought they used to get up that high. I think they ran out of mules first, and then the price would go up pretty quick. It's the dynamics of the game, guys. It's like you know you've got to watch these things and then try and play into that because you know I could have put Smith or out, but look at this, <laughs> look at this, 144 same price as the Smith or for Christite for dollars away from the max at 148 um and we picked up a bunch i only got 128 dollars here right now guys so i was really happy in this auction and now we're cruising right now we are cruising because we've got cash and it means that we've got blots out plots out of course anything can happen and as we know, as we keep getting more and more into the Christite guys, the damn pirate ship is what we've got to worry about every month as we kick forward, as we increase our Christite. One extra food here. <clears throat> I'm selling it at 50, guys. It's a good price to sell a food. And uh, all these guys were short because they went nuts on smith ore production. Um, although the green guy couldn't do the smith ore in the river, so I can't remember why <clears throat> didn't produce food there if you changed it over to energy. I can't remember. My goodness, it's enough to talk about even when I'm not playing the game in real time. <laughs> Just trying to explain what's going on re-watching it. But uh, yeah, look at this surplus, guys. Now, this is really where I think you can sort of really pick up extra. You know, on top of your crystallite production, if you can get them shortage of energy and or food, and you can, you know, balance that in your uh, portfolio, if you like. And uh, then you can sell. Now, these guys didn't want to go super high, but at 91, that's not too bad. So I'm selling off a few here. I won't sell them all. Never go down to critical one energy. At least that's my strategy. You need one energy for each production plot for them to produce. Otherwise, they won't produce anything, guys, except for energy itself. So food, smith or crystite, one energy block each for each plot. <coughs> and energy is free uh, to produce, of course. So I picked up the top block there, which is a medium crystallite plot, guys, on the mountains, because uh, it's right next to my high. Now, we've got this plot down the bottom, and I've actually got the cash. I must admit, I remember I was zoning out here and thinking about the plots up the top. And then when they took off, I sort of thought, uh, and I could have chased this down, and in retrospect, this is a plot I probably should have picked up got the money to do it regardless of how high it goes and it's 792 you know I might have pushed them a little higher and but anyway I, I let it go it was over the left hand side but yeah looking back at it now guys it's it's like more plots the better nothing bad has happened to me at the start of my turn which is good um, 
even though you know with development five nothing as bad has happened i've been the leader all this time you always worry about those bad things happening straight off the bat so that's just the random randomness of mule <laughs> so we're on the Christite. <clears throat> we're putting it out onto that medium block up the top there. So we've got a nice little array now of a high in the middle there. Three mediums around it. Awesome. And now I'm scouting out for the Wampus. And the bugger moved down to the bottom left. Now it's back up the top right. And as soon as they change, you've got to go to the next spot. Um, they will hang around in the one place once they disappear and come back up but if they move they're not you know you've got to go there sometimes they can be buggers on me back again or somewhere where you were but that's just the nature of wampus hunting <laughs> so <laughs> medium crystal over the left hand side i started to think oh, i wonder what's in that plot on the energy but i was pretty sure there was a no around what that plot so be a low if anything and yeah it's a low well there's a low down the bottom there so there is a christite down there in the bottom left it's all crowded out by the computers guys i'm not worried too much about it again i'm concentrating on that top right hand side and quite happy at this point in terms of blocking that off it's just a matter now what production that we'll get and what event and guys straight out that gate it's good to see an asset rainstorm no pirate ships on this production which means that all that glorious christite that will produce this turn uh will be good now food output up energy reduce along that strip and so we should be reasonably okay with our food and energy or you can see yeah energy was reduced a little bit yeah the green guys put green energy on his um green energy on his uh, on the river plots now, smith ore straight after that original sell at 144 last month guys it's come straight down a halved it less than half at 63 and uh, that's because obviously they're feeding into the store and that's the only problem with with smith or and any of the supply and demand uh with food and energy as well of course that price is going to fluctuate wildly with whatever's in the store and the demand christite is just a random uh, random on what it's going to be and <laughs> what can i say guys smiling ear to ear at this stage we missed the pirate ship on status five. Christite's still at a beautiful 124. I'm cashing in. And so far, other than not picking up that plot, so far though, I'm feeling pretty good about the game. Um, I'm always worried though that, you know, sort of if pirate ship comes, I like them to come early because obviously you're going to lose a lot more later in the game um, and the probability goes down a bit if um, if you get them early on these guys all shortage of food 12 needed i've got three spares store only has five so we'll i think just let them buy and buy out the store we'll wait up the top and that way we can maximize our sell price for the remaining and they're not going that much higher so i'm gonna pop down at 92 did i oh no i didn't okay <laughs> i must have just thought it's in my mind stuff them again retrospectively probably should have taken that extra that would have been some extra dollars that could you know be very useful in the chase so energy only just made it over the other guys are short. I'm staying up here at the sale. I'm not not selling. Um, I'm not going to sell that 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 one. Although if I do, <laughs> I can't remember now. I don't think I will. Not with that amount of cash. I, I, I wouldn't. Um, sometimes though, when the energy is really low, and you go, well, you can sell to critical level, and then just put out energy plots on your next go, regardless if you manage to pick up an extra piece of land 
or not, and you'd still have enough energy. Colony shortage of energy, you can see me sort of just rushing rushing through the uh, this, this screens at this point. Bang, got a nice solid block there, guys, next to my other Christite plots. And that's what we want, right? We're starting to build this up. This is a relatively straightforward operation. Um, although, I wonder why I'm taking so much time here. I, I've got... Funny thing that's <laughs> eluded me for a little bit when I was looking at this. I'm so used to having a river plot that when I look at the top food, one up the top, I keep thinking that's a river food, but it's not. And I can put crystalite up there uh, later. Um... I've still got two food out, and um, can't recall now my thinking why I didn't put in just another crystite out, but there would have been a reason going through my head, I'm sure, at the time, running around trying to find this wampus, not having any luck. But yeah, we're, we're sort of lucky we got the extra blocks of land, keeping the food, keeping the energy, keeping ourselves safe over there my friend and I gave up <laughs> had a beer instead so that's that food shortage for the green guy has got no food out see he's shortage of food he can't go out and change anything he can't put food out he's stuffed and unless he gets some food it's just going to be stuffed every round um, won't be able to change his production unit so yeah that's how it gets you out guys all right so the pink guy also, the same same problem. Got no food. He did an assay check. Sometimes the computer does some dumb things. Okay, guys. Now, look. We have nothing pre-event. Post-event, of course. One of those post-events is a pirate ship. Is a fire in the store. It's a fire in the store, guys. <laughs> In the store. Now look at us, we've got energy. I only got one food, and my other food didn't produce. And I swear I had enough energy. I had one extra that last time round. So that just goes to show. I don't know what that goes to show, actually. I should have got a production on that top. With a fire in the store, that's no good. And did, but, but hang on, was that the food that I didn't sell on the last round? <laughs> Because if, if that's the case, then I obviously have an extra. You don't want to see this, guys. You don't want to see 80 on Christite. The problem I face here at Status 6, we've had no pirate ship. 80's not good, but it's not terrible. So I made the decision, even though I've got plenty of money, that I would rather just cash it in and get the extra because you know we we're looking at an extra 2000 there and the worst thing is holding some crystite and then having a production next month and then it all going hate to do that when it's at 80 so just a bit of my thought process there look at the food 185 so that's why i must have left the food out last time <laughs> That's why I'd go for another Christite. I produce bugger all um, and only barely have enough. Just just under by one, right? So we're going to have a small shortage. But that's what a shocking situation. Of course, you can just see how the game radically changes and food, you know, if you had heaps of food there, it would have made it killing. The guys are short. The green guy went all in on energy, though, so it's just going to come down. So I think, yeah, I, my strategy here was to pip him and try and get it still at a reasonably high price at 93. Pretty good price still for energy, guys. And you can see my money there is starting to crank up. So it's not looking too bad. But we've got a long way to go, guys. To get up over the current unofficial world record. We're only at 13,000 guys. We've got to get way up over 52,000. But we still have some months ahead of us. Picked up another good blot. I keep trying to say block instead of plot. All right, now this is a good plot. Um, and guys, no one else is going for it. 732. 
surprised the green guy didn't go but maybe it's just a little bit out and it's over the right hand side away from his other blocks so probably didn't put value on it but just lucky now I've got a bad thing here oh, with solar collectors I think I just push past this because it would be um, uh, I've got to pay a certain amount per yeah, 50 bucks each so that's nothing about 150 bucks so that was a bad thing that happened there guys for me but there's plenty of other worse things like losing a plot which is the worst one um, that can happen to you when you're leading the game so we haven't had that bad thing happen so look at me going out and putting food out instead of Christide <laughs> playing the shortages game guys um, trying to cash in while the price is still high and also reducing my risk uh, and not having all Christide out knowing that as the months go on uh, the risk of a pirate ship goes up so trying to make some cash in other ways if I can and just diversifying my portfolio <laughs> that's what I'm doing and uh, reducing my overall risk so the green guy finally gets out his food plot um, he's still got a plot down the bottom left hand side which he hasn't got anything out on and he's got the red one the red guy is uh, also getting into food so <laughs> he's changed his other one to energy ran out of time of course you never get to see <coughs> the computer guys actually moving their mules out and actually doing it sometimes you look at their moves and you go hey, could you really get out all the way there and back and mule goes crazy guys it's the green guy not us and we're in the lead so that is crazy and then of course the second thing is is well that was the event on production seven so no pirate ship again which again is awesome because of all the crash light that we have but again it is scary because every month going on the risk of a pirate ship is going to go up my food is again a little bit crappy for having three plots but anyway smith is pretty low here um now i swear i was thinking that i should be buying here at 43 and i didn't and i can't remember why i think i was just sometimes i get into this game and i just start thinking deeply about the next play and i and i lose my footing and i think oh, and i and i should have bought here if i bought there at 43 i could have sold smith or later for even 50 or whatever again guys for chase the world record you've got to pick up every dollar missed opportunity with those dollars there but 120 sell price on the crystalite which is awesome guys if we didn't get a pirate ship this round this is going to help our total score for sure but yeah it's funny eh? it's funny funny looking back and just going mm, i've left i've left money on the table guys left money on the table but it's hard to get every decision you know right if you like to maximize your money so as you can see, with the food is paying off, 128. We've got all that extra production. Uh, Red guy's going to sell out anyway. We might be able to pip, pip him and get in front and get a higher price for them. the pink guy. That's probably what I'm going to do. Yep. So you can see I'm just going to stay up the top here. Don't want to stay, stay right up the top because... If he keeps going up the top and the red guy jumps down, then I lose the sale. And you can see that's, that's sort of what the reverse would have happened there. And now the red guy's got to come down and sell at 128. So, again, maximise my selling there, guys. Get the most under those conditions. Those are the little tricks just to get that little bit more cash once you know how the game dynamics work there. All right, well, I use all my energy, and you know, I need a lot of energy, and I've only got four free. The other guy's got nine none in the store I don't think I would be selling any um, at this point again I can't remember but 
I wouldn't think I would be. Want to keep that little buffer. Let that other guy sell out. Um, again, it's pretty tough though, guys, because again, you know, this, this is where you tend to get them more money here. Goods value will go down if the energy price goes down in the later months. So turning it into cash, you've got to decide when to do that. Right, we're on 17,000. We are on status number seven. Well, that was seven. We're on eight now. All right. So we are closing in still. And now look at this, guys. We have to land directly above my energy block. I want this because I want to get the production bonus. No one's going for it, man. No one. You know, I'm surprised. Even sometimes the you know the, the other guys can boop. They just chase you up for no reason and then dump you with the price at a real high. That's happened before. It didn't happen this time. So happy about that. So I've got two plots here to sort out. And I think what we're going to do is these ones on the left-hand side, we want to get these two energies together and get that production bonus. And then we want to do a bit of a shuffle with a, an extra crystallite on the right-hand side. And I'm glad past Greg is doing what future Greg <laughs> is thinking right now. So I uh, can't remember the move exactly, but it's making perfect sense in my head. That's exactly what I would have and obviously did do. Oh, stuff that up. I tried to go get the Wampus and hit the corner of the store. Funny though, the Wampus does still appear at the same location and me running all over that block and missing that Wampus. So, you know, what, I hit that three times? This, the flap, I'm pretty sure it's got, it, it's got a, it's sensitive to the pixels of the, of your uh, character and the flap is so skinny, I think, with holes in it that if it goes, I, I don't know, it doesn't detect it. I think I've read that somewhere that, you know, you get the bigger, the spheroid, who's a big blob, and they've got a bigger surface area to catch those whoppers more easily, I think. But guys, we missed some dollars there with that Wampus, so that's not good. Now, of course, we're in production eight, guys, and this is it. This is starts where it gets really scary in relation to pirate ships. Um, you know, we've, as I said, we've still got a balanced portfolio, though, so we're spreading our risk a little bit here. And it's a bumper production. And it's a pest attack. <laughs> it's a pest attack. <laughs> You've never been happy to see a pest attack so much in your life when it's on your plot. And it's on my lowest food plot too out of the three that I have still. So guys, yes. I was happy. But again, I'm starting to get apprehensive about when this pirate ship is coming if you recall was it the first game that we played and we got the pirate ship on, on month 11 i think even the second game um of course you can get two pirate ships as well and that's still possible so these guys cashing in at 92 uh which is pretty impressive for the smith ore and remember i could have bought smith ore and it wouldn't have spoiled under for under 50 units you can hang on to smith or it doesn't get stolen by pirate ships in the tournament levels um that was a missed opportunity guys i could have got some extra extra cash because i was would have been buying at what 44 or whatever it was 50 per unit ah uh, now 76 guys 76 i have 22 units it's 76 it's month eight we've had no pirate ships what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you gonna do guys well you can see it's just above the threshold for me you know 80 is probably a little bit more comfortable to sell but it's close to that it's not really low i wanted to cash in i just you know we haven't had a pirate ship yet 
I just felt like, nah, I've got to cash in, guys. So, sold that off. Get more for food at the moment. And, of course, we're still producing. So just remember, you've got to keep an eye on your food and energy. And not just go all in on crystite and neglect the potential you can get from food and energy. Let these guys buy out. The green guy's going to go any higher. I step down here. Yep, just picked up an extra hundred and forty-nine dollars for just one piece of food. So that's a that's a good day. That is a good day. Okay, so energy. There's nothing in the store, guys, and uh, luckily we're still producing heaps. Just in another really good position here. To sit up and sell a few of these at a really good price just to offset any potential losses that may occur from pirate ships so 133 I come down sell a few more at a hundred yeah don't want to sell them all Hold on to them. Okay, where are we guys? Where are we? Do we have a long way to go still? I think we do. We're on 21,000. But we are on the end of month eight. Four blocks left. Now I just had to hold my button down and just hope. Unfortunately, I got the first one. They didn't want it. But if I waited, I would have missed it and not got a block. So that's what you got to do. But pretty good that it turned out even like that you know I bought the other blocks and then you've got four left you still get the last free block you want to do it you want to do it that way um, so it's pretty crappy when you got to buy a block and then there's only three left at the end and if you're running first you're not going to get one of those last three for free so that sort of all worked out pretty well you can see here I'm going for my crystite there on the right hand side and shoring up the energy on the left uh, where the crystite isn't really happening and getting into another crystite uh, of course just upping the risk a little bit now as we move to the latter stages of the game but it's time to get in these food. I've got four foods here, guys, so I've got to start raining that in a bit. Um, and that's really my strategy here on out. Start converting them slowly into Christite, but just... It's just a risky, a risky proposition. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 total plots. Which is pretty good. Generally, you know, 12 is sort of about average when you've picked up a plot or so. Well, you get one every game, uh, one every turn, don't you? So 12 would be the the uh, the minimum if you got all the free plots at least. So having um, 14 is pretty good. And of course, yeah, sorry, you wouldn't get 12 because you're losing others to land options. And guys, I can't, I can't, I can't believe it, right? We get another month of full crystal production. A little bit of a shame again, because we've got like three food and a. Can you imagine if all those were crystal guys out there? We've got a food up though on our food, so we avoid the pirate ship again. That all still increases the risk of a pirate ship. Um, but look at this glorious crystite look at the food production good energy it's what you want to see Smithor back down to 43 
store's got 128 units so they've got absolute heap and I don't think anyone's selling at 43 Now Christite, we've got such a good production and guys it's 52 and we haven't had a pirate ship and it's a month nine. Do you feel my pain? <laughs> my anxiety? I decided to hold. I can't sell it at 52 guys, that's terrible. But now we won't run a mammoth risk of having all that stock of Christite and the next month's production on top of it to potentially lose all of that on a pirate ship. Yeah, everyone's got a, heaps of food, guys. Now I've got I've really got to get out of food. <laughs> because um, getting near the end of the game, I need to have a few, you know, a few things to change. I need to get out of food. The price is going to come down. I've got too many blots out. But you just, again, you don't know. You don't just don't know how the game's going to go. You've got to fire the store. You know, could have put a pirate ship out, which means then my food would have saved me a bit. All of those things. Again, energy reasonably high, but I don't want to keep myself short. Um, should I have come down here? Sold around 100. 100 each maybe or did I actually wait oh, I waited because of the total amount I've got to be selling a few here surely because um, I've got some excess there you go but I just went for the one all right because I didn't have a huge amount of excess there so again just hedging hedging my bets guys hedging my bets we are up to 24,000 guys. We've got to we've got to get up over 52. And it's development number 10. Um, that's at least for the world record for us in terms of our um, our personal best. I've got to get up over 46,000. Well, we obviously made that so. We'll see how we get to there. If we get up over that world record is another question. So into the Christite, out with the food. Oh, I'm surprised actually I didn't go change another. I just didn't have enough time. But we've got all Christite now up the top. But guys, it's development 10. We've had no pirate ships. This is just the disaster of the game when you get to this point and you just... You worry. You worry. Because this is going to make or break the game. What's it going to be, guys? Development 10. Are we going to get the pirate ship? Odds are on this development or the next development. And here we go. We've had nothing, no pre production event. So, fire in the store, pirate ship, pest attack are the only post production ones, I think. And look at the Christite, guys, it's, it's going up. believe I got to this month we only have one more month guys um, before the ship comes back the transport ship but I am worried because of course we've seen it before the pirate ship coming on the 11th month but we got a good production here remember I saved the crystal height I had an I had in, in my hand previously so if the price is good 
the crystallite we saved, we didn't sell it at the 50 odd previously. Huge risk. Because we could have got a pirate ship that round, guys. Plus, we have the production on this round. If crystallite is at a good price, we are going to make a small fortune on this round. These guys are loving it. With their smith or but come on guys, what's crystallite going to be? What's crystallite going to be? We took the risk. We saved the crystallite. And it's all 132! <laughs> it's all 132! And look at my crystallite! Look at my crystallite, guys. The sound topped out. Do -do 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 up to 90 units at 132. Yeah, you see me hesitating to go. I didn't want to pull the stick down too quick and then accidentally put myself as a buyer. I'm like, I'm putting my hands off the joystick here, guys. And uh, I don't care if I'm last to cash in. Seems I'm first. Now let's see that money go. 12,000 up to... Twenty three thousand guys in cash. Twenty three thousand. So where does that put us though in total? Well, we'll have to see after the energy. I'm getting 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 in front of myself. <laughs> getting in front of myself. Because we gotta have one more before the ship comes back. Boy. Well, we've got two more productions, effectively, 11 and 12. And we're on 23,000 in cash. Look at me, jumping down on food, trying to maximise here. Get my maximum dollars I can. Because there was plenty in the store. And all I'm thinking now, at this stage of the game, is this should be a good game. If we can avoid the pirate ship on status 11, on round 11. And when does that ever happen? So energy 8. So sitting pretty. Again, a little bit of a shortage there. These guys think that I've got plenty and going to come racing down while they... Don't know me very well. So, guys, I uh, uh, hope you're enjoying this as we progress through. Um, I tell you what, talking through this game, it makes it go fast. <laughs> it's it's uh, generally over an hour when you're playing fairly quickly, just over an hour, um, not far away. 34,000 is our total. 34, month 10, we've got two months to go guys, we've got to get up, can we get, can we even get the world record at this point, alright, and this is the, this is, this is the key moment, this is the round, development 11, no pirate ships up until now guys, and look at me, I'm going all in, on Christite. Look at me go all in. At least I sold that last lot at a huge price, guys. I got huge money for that, right? And, I mean, this is the second to last month. Uh, I've got to do what I've got to do. I've got to do what I've got to do, and... Let us pray. Went for a wampus, but decided needed a beer. Okay, guys, this is where I didn't care what the computer was doing. It's like, just what's going to happen? Give us an event straight away before production. Acid rainstorm. Even a planet quake would be okay. Like half, half the mining. That's not great, but better than post-production pirate ship guys 
could not believe my luck. We've got to 11. We've had no pirate ships. We will not get a pirate ship because now round 12 the ship comes back. Your transport ship comes back. We got an acid rainstorm, guys. No pirate ships. Our entire production 11 is saved. This is where I started thinking, you know what? There's a chance. There is now a chance. In my mind, I was thinking, I surely am going to get at least to my last personal best. And look at this crystallite production. Look at it. <sighs> what is the score? Guys, <laughs> what is the score? What is crystallite going to be? And it sort of doesn't matter because if it's high or low, we, we're not going to lose it. Ooh, and it's 96. It's not great. Now, the problem is, though, if I get over 50, which I think I did. I think I got 57. There you go. I remember. Now, I have to sell at least seven because those seven will spoil next month. That's the only loss that I'm going to get. So I have to come down and I have to sell seven at 96. And then I just got to hope that the last round crystal is higher than 96 guys so there's still a risk here because it could go down to like 60 or something in the final round and i could have sold 50 at 96 so this was a little bit of a yeah <laughs> i was comfortable in this round about that decision uh, and we'll see how that plays out so food I don't have any, and funnily enough, I remember now. <laughs> I, uh, my head was spinning last night, guys. My head was spinning thinking about all that crystal and thinking, should I have sold that at 90 or shouldn't I have sold it? And I remember coming, I, I'm, I just again got into this, this thinking mode and then I came back to this uh, screen and, my, and I was like, hang on, I'm buying. Why am I buying? How many did I have? Did I, did I have any food? I'm like, do I need any food? It's like the next next month's the last month. Do so I just leave it? <laughs> it's like, and then the time runs out. It was literally that was scrambling mess was going on in my head. Um, but I think you know when it comes down to it, energy's not that low, and so I thought, well, goods value on energy on the final month might be okay. So it's probably no, not much point putting Christi out on the left, but she's got to pay for a mule and outfit a mule for 100 straight away each mule, and it's only going to serve you for one month, so an interesting dilemma at the end here. Surely going to sell a couple here, because if I don't change any of my blocks, then this excess is just cream and... 24,700. Pick up a few extra dollars here, guys. Helps my score. Come on, Craig. Come on, man. Oh, man. Seriously? Did I? Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, five there at 240 odd. So, that was a good pickup just off those few energies. That's where the dollars can make. 42,000, guys. 42,000. 167 and of course my previous personal best is 46,000 I'm 4,000 off guys from the personal best you would think and you know because we're watching this video so I've definitely got above 46,000 the question now is does this final score does it get us above 52,800? So yeah, that's when I realized I have no food to do anything, so I couldn't even get a Wampus, guys. And of course, I'm an idiot, because if I got the Wampus, there's an extra 300 there, right? So this cash, I'm just leaving on the table. 
So you get close to this 52,803. Can we do it with the production? Can we do it with the right Christite prices? We avoided the pirate ship, guys. Look at this guy, Smith, all everywhere. So let's have a look at the final, final production. Can we make it? Can I get an unofficial new world record? Always puts a flutter in my heart when I hear that sound and see the beginning of the ship. <laughs> it's the transport ship. Oh boy. So big production, guys. Come on. Big push. Big push production. Come on, you Chris Light plots. What's that high doing? There you go. Kicking in. A few energies. That's not bad. That is pretty good amount of Christite there, guys. If the Christite price is decent and the ones we held on to and these ones we could get close I'm like what's the crystallite price going to be what's it going to be guys what's it going to be 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 yes <laughs> it's just as sweet to see that again and look at this Hundred, over a hundred, because we kept the other ones from last round. Hundred and twelve guys at a hundred and forty-four crystite, surely. And guys, you're supposed to hold on to everything and get the goods value in the final round. I may have missed a few dollars here. I can't remember what the calculation is on Christite specifically, but I was like, no way. I am cash in this, and I don't care. I want to see the money in the bank. <laughs> I want to see it there. It could cost me. It could cost me, but look at this, guys. In cash. 42000 in cash. Now, I don't have any other goods other than the energy and food um, left, plus my land value. But surely, guys, this gets us near this amount of 52,803 is what I have to beat. And we've got one more auction. 52,000. I've got to get 803. I've got to get... I've got to get over 10,000, guys, and land and energy price is high though look at that at 150 and uh, again I should get the goods value pretty sure you get a slight, slightly more in goods value for energy and food I can't remember guys this is it this is it have we done it guys have we done it have we pipped it have we pipped 52,000 Oh, I hate how it does this when it comes out with the first founder first and it doesn't give you your score straight away. Nine, Come on, man. Eight, Have we done it? Seven, Have we done it? Six, five, Is it a four, new three, world record in the all? 53,238. Guys, we have done it. We have done it. And I swear, I swear, when this came up, I was like 53 2. And I couldn't, I didn't have the score in front of me. And I was thinking, oh crap, that is the score. Isn't it like 53 something? And then I looked and it was 52,000. 52,803 guys. We're not, you know, we're talking this less than 400 bucks difference, guys. Like that's, you know, one Wampus at $300 or a missed pub, you know, thing or a one, you know, a couple of mules, you know, 
that's the difference, right? That is, these are the subtle differences when you're getting up to this top score um, that make the difference. So, look, now that I wanted to do this, I wanted to to achieve this so that I knew that it's actually possible to get this score. Now that I know it's possible, guys, we go into stage two, which is I'm going to, I've already got the real hardware set up, ready to go. I will be doing mule runs on the real hardware. I have to record it in a specific way, showing the disc going in and all that stuff for Twin Galaxy rules. I'll be filming those. I won't be talking through those because they will be the ones for submission. But I will do like we did with this lot. And I will actually film uh, the first one and then get that up and show you and give a bit of commentary on my first attempt. If I just send that first attempt in, I will get the actual real world record because there's none currently posted on uh, Twin Galaxies under the Atari side. Uh, but we don't want to do that. I will post the first one up and then we're going to try and beat it again just like we did with this and I'll only show you the ones that I beat on the real hardware. So we'll do a similar sort of thing. And when we get above 50 and if I don't even get as high as this but i get a score of 50 then that submission i'm putting up to twin galaxies and then i'll continue and on real hardware to try and pip my best score here and you know maybe i keep going and just try and get higher than the commodore score even though the code is different um see what's possible you know at the end of the day guys there was money on the table you know, there was a plot I should have got earlier. There were decisions that I made that, you know, cost me. Um, could have cost me two or three thousand, to be honest. It could have got me quite up there. So, who knows? But, guys, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so happy. I mean, it, it's, it sounds strange. You know, it's just, it's mule. <laughs> it's, it's mule, guys. But this game, this game can hand it to you. And so, when things go right. And getting all those blocks, getting them all on the right-hand side. A lot of things went right in this game. And, of course, not having pirate ships. You know, I didn't get any of the uh, meteorite strikes on my block, guys. So that's the other thing I missed out on. Could have got that um, high crystite from that. But not putting a plot on the river. I think that might be my strategy going forward, guys. And just start building up out in the regions away from the computer anyway look i hope you did enjoy it i hope you stayed to the end i hope you're just as happy as i am <laughs> joy creates joy right and uh and yeah guys i I'm, I'm stoked so yeah look out for the next mule it will be on real hardware and we will continue the man versus mule and i'll get that record up on twin galaxies um but for now mission accomplished on the emulator all right guys we'll see you in the next video until then keep on keeping on